Pat, let's start with the good things to say about tap water. Folks at DWP will be happy to remind you plastic water bottles are an environmental nightmare. Also, there's the possibility of bacteria getting in the bottled water somehow, and also just the issue of whether or not it really stays fresh. Well, there's another study, as you mentioned, which looks at another question, a question that's put this way. After a lifetime of drinking tap water, do you increase your risk of getting some form of cancer? A study released today says the answer is yes. The study, published by the Environmental Working Group, studied test results for more than 2,700 community water systems in California and concluded 15,500 people in the state will likely be diagnosed with cancer after drinking tap water over a 70-year lifetime. Nearly half of those cases are from exposure to arsenic, about a third from disinfectant byproducts, and 16% from exposure to hexavalent chromium. Dr. Nachman Brockbar was one of the toxicologists who exposed hexavalent chromium contamination in the Aaron Brockovich case. He is Professor Emeritus of Toxicology and Pharmacology at USC. And if you have chromium in drinking water, you're talking about cancer, mainly lung cancer. Uh, you're talking arsenic, it's carcinogenic to the lung, uh, has been also associated with bladder cancer and skin cancer. Dr. Bratbar says more studies need to be done on the impact this cocktail of contaminants can have on each other in the human body rather than simply adding up the risk each contaminant poses. So what can you do to protect yourself? Dr. Bratbar says one answer is to avoid drinking tap water and rely on filtered or purified water, like Daniel Danovich. You don't drink water out of the tap very often? No. And why is that? It's better. For me, it's better, but more suitable. And to be clear, 15,500 cancer cases does sound like a big number, but remember, 40 million people live in California, so the chances it could happen to you are extremely slim. You just need to know the risks. Let's go back to you.